Right, Islam, Islam, Islamism. Praise Allah. First, I rise, give all praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm your anchor, the magistrate, M. Sufi Il. We're here live and direct Moorish National News. Thanks for tuning in. Right. This is a reboot of our 2012 CE, uh, you know, show, Moorish National News. Hosted by myself, Magistrate L. I I was then the chaplain L only, and ho a co host ho co hosted of course by um, the lovely Empress Arshikis Taisha uh, T Life of Bay. Uh, so praise Allah for her and uh, more. Thanks you, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're we're live and direct. We like to praise Allah and give high honors to His holy and divine prophets. And give a, 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 a strong honors and a, a strong greeting to all you Moors across the shores. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're, just, we're just going live here um, so that you can get the up-to-date news blow by blow. Because, you know, Moors, you know, the magistrate, M. Sufiil, that's myself. Uh, we've been doing this a long time. And we wanted to bring you the true news and ask the information from the north, east, west, and south. Because when they talk about news mores, we're talking about information from all four corners and all around the globe. That's the NEWS, north, east, west, and south. So, you know, check it out. We're here rocking out. Uh, you'll have a chance to have your own correspondent work here in Moore's National News, but let's go at the top of the hour and jump right into it. News today. Uh, is the Mufti's fatwa for uh, unity throughout North, uh, far west Morocco, Moors, is a fatwa passed, um, and it's a jurisdictional chart, and I'm checking it out because it's been posted uh, in regards to the Moorish National Republic, and if you don't know, we'll read the statement, but first we'd like to take a reading, all right, from our mission statement where it says Islam, Allah, and Asia. This is our mission for our Moorish National News to uplift fallen humanity through the propagation of the faith and uplift in the, in, and through the communication. So, you know, our Moorish Americans, it says Islam is the commanding for peace with civility, 18 U.S.C. 11 and 18 U.S.C. 112, uh, those are the penalties for those violators of any Moors 
that are, are on these shores here that violate any any of our any of us really any Moorish Americans, Moorish nationals, sundry free Moors, uh, and we're all protected within our right to religion. And of course, you know, we have our treaty of peace and friendship. And um, but it says that the penalty for breaking that peace on the federal level is Title 18, the criminal code, uh, the United States Code, Section 11. The penalty, Title 18, the United States Code, right? Subsection 112. These are the penalties, Moors, that are imposed upon those who, uh, you know, violate Moors, Moorish Nationals. So if you're just tuning in, you're listening to the Moorish National News. Uh, this is uplifting fallen to humanity through communications, through the up-to-date information around the globe, North, East, West, and South. I am the Magi, Sufi, Ill. You know the deal, Moors. Praise Allah. I give high honors to his holy and divine prophet. And uh, we're just giving you some up-to-date news. And feel free to inbox me and hit us up. And you know you can get your story heard and told right here on Moorish National News. Uh, but just know we're reading off our mission statement there, Moors. Right? Our Moorish divine and national movement of North America. That's our mission, our mission statement. Islam is the commanding for peace with civility. The Moorish Americans stand firm on our divine and national principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice in accordance with the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, the divine constitution and bylaws, the great Quran of Muhammad. We Moors of North America honor all divine prophets Ali, Muhammad, Jesus, Buddha, Confucius, etc., and herein proclaim our in full life status as being part and parcel of this said government, Moors. If it's just tuning in, you're listening to the Moorish National News introduction, world premiere, reboot of our television version of our news media of our Moorish American media and press department. So we have our Moorish national news, up to, dinner, up to minute news from around the globe, North, East, West, and South, all right? So this is your place for everything. You can relate to everything Moorish, you know what I'm saying, to we hit the chorus, you know what I'm saying? So we're, if you just tuned in, we're reading from our mission statement from our Moorish Science Temple, the Divine and National Movement of North America, Praise Allah for our Sultan and all our executive rulers. All right. All of our local Moors officials, as well as Moorish officials from around the globe. Uh, you know, Moors, all politics, Moors, all politics is local. So we encourage you to stay in good standing at your local subordinate branch from your Moorish Science Temple of America. Uh, as all politics is local, and we are here to give you this brief of the night. You heard it here first. It's a world premiere. Uh, if you haven't heard it, you now you do. Um, and you will get a briefing on the jurisdictional chart, Moors, that we have that settles all your arguments. It settles all the beefs, all the cyber wars, you know, the, the, the internet beefs and and all the smoke and the wars and the rumors of wars, you see, it's going to stop all the shock jocks. You know, all these people that are just new to Moorish science and they're somewhat into just stirring up the dust and the old beefs and the running around and, and causing problems with the elder Moors and the younger Moors and dissension amongst the ranks. So you're going to learn about this chart that settles all the smoke, all the beef, the ancient beef s'mores. And um and if you if you just tuned in, we're just you're just reading from our, our mission statement uh of what we've given that the Moorish Americans stand for on our divine national principles. We read that part. We teach the 18 missing years 
of Jesus's life that is not retained in the Bible. We encourage interfaith cooperation in alignment, right, with chapter 46, verse 9 from the Holy Quran of the Moore Science Temple of America to wit, all nations of the earth in these modern days are seeking peace, but there is but one true and divine way that peace may be obtained in these days, and it is through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice being taught universally to all nations in all lands. Our founder, Prophet Noble Jurali, instructed us to teach men upon the hedges of the highways to repent from sin and that they may learn to love instead of hate. Also that when a brother is in need, come to his aid. And if thy sister is needs thy help, forsake her not. For you are all children of one father and one mother has given you suck. Moors, Islam, praise Allah. We have set aside the temples through the guidance from our prophet and the governing body of the Moorish Science Temple, the, the divine and national movement of the world, consecrating the earliest missionaries to propagate the Islamic faith in America. We continue uplifting fallen humanity in accord with the universal life covenant. His grace, the Mahdi, Sufi Al-Wali Il, the Caliph of the Moorish Science Temple, the modern Moabite nation, uh, which is referred to in Arabic as the Maghrib al-Aqsa. All right, Moors. So rock out. We're here. Praise Allah. We want you to tune in uh, when we just really go into uh, this next portion of our Moorish American jurisdictional chart, Moors. So stay tuned as I bring it up and uh, rock out to Poetica Bay. Love and war, all ain't fair in love and war. Enjoy. Pull this up for you, Morris. You can tune in, you can cash app us uh, at hashtag or hashtag 7 Eleven Mobile listed below. I'm going to bring up this chart for y'all. Yeah, Cash tag, 7 Eleven Mobile, list below. We're going to bring up the chart, y'all. All right, I'm going to let y'all see it. Oh, 
how much I love them. No, we had to work it out. No, we about to find this house. And if it don't work out, I'm gonna smile mouth and blow you out the situation. I got my gun and my heart. Wait and say it. Don't pass me. You blow the blast me. Boy, the body's gonna be the All right. Well, if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Morris National News Network. This is I, the Magistrate M. Sufi. Ill, ill. You know the deal. We're here live and direct coming out of Shaka Make Some. You know what I'm saying? Miss Norma, Philadelphia, the Sixth Church. Already risen. Praise Allah. Give high honors to his holy and divine prophet, Morris. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to get right to business, Morris. This is uh, just as uh, our little drop here to give you a little exclusive. I had to share the screen for you, Morris. This right here, Morris, this chart has, has, has shook up the world. I got all inboxes from every um, leading Morris group. And, uh, you know, this one right here, my ninjas, my netters, you know what I'm saying? It show you right at the simple, at the center, Morris Science Temple of America, right? At the bottom of this chart, you can't see it, but it shows you that each color is corresponding to the jurisdiction that these Moorish organizations, institutions been battling each other and fighting it out for prominence uh, and dominance. But you can see there, you can see here that the key on the bottom states that white in the middle is municipality jurisdiction. All politics is local. But even before I even go there, let me read what it says on the side. So you could get a clue of what's really going on. All right. All right. It says this is the Mufti's fatwa for unity throughout West, far West Morocco. Our Moorish American jurisdictional chart. All right. Islam. This is the jurisdictional overlay chart for any more adhering to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom and justice explaining the Mufti's fatwa for unity throughout our villages, towns, cities, districts, nation, and empire. Moors are modern Moabites. The ancient Moabites now brought it to the modern Moabites. Moab is the American Indian country land that is corporately centralized in and around Moab, Utah, including all of the United States of America. Moors, did y'all know that? Well, wait, hey, who, who's ever said that to you? That Moors, the ancient Moabites, the prophet, modern Moabites, Moab, where is that? Moab is what they refer to as Indian country. Because when they don't want to say it's Moorish uh, property, they, you know, they just basically... Just call it Indian country, Moors. They call it Indian country just to, just to like, you know, just to throw you off, you know. But if you knew any better, it wouldn't matter. You would say, oh, Indian country, I don't believe you because if, if it's, if it's Indian country, the only Indian country that we know it could possibly be is the Indomorian Indian country. Moors, look at that. See, look at that. Because they said our people was Indian and not Moors. And so there's a big, big wars on these shores against Moors from scores of 
those who think they're Indian and half breed, mixed breed, and feel like the dark olive. See, look at that. Dark olive, the Indian more, Indian the Indian Morians is in the Moorish. Those of Moorish descent. That's what this is saying. So similar to Blackamore and Tawny Moor, you have Indian Moor, Moors. So this is just is just what it is. It's what it is. The Indian Moors is the only connection that they can't dodge that bullet you see so let's just be real let's just be real all right so we'll bring that back up just so y'all can get a clue of what that's about because y'all been clueless all these debates all over the internet you know let this be the end of that because when you're saying where's moab so many Moors got shut down because they couldn't answer, where's your country? They said, you from Morocco. And then, then of course they learned and this is Morocco, but they don't know the language. They can't prove it. But if you know that Moab Indian country is the last little bit of remnant geographically, corporately out there in Utah, where so-called ironically, coincidentally, not coincidentally, but coincide things coincide. They don't, they're not coincidence. That's coincidence, not coincidence. So things coincide. So out there in Moab, Utah, there's people pretending to be you. They they they're somewhat Christian, so they're Albion's, so they're doing. Christian style Moorish science, but they call themselves we're Moorish men. Moors are men up right and fearless, right? Industrious. They are Mormons. The Mormons. So those Mormons are trying to have more than one wife and do the Christian style of Islam or whatever you think Moors do. And so they're out there sitting on your seat so to speak but that's a part of being a shriner and part of being a good shriner is that they're watching the shrine they're keeping it going while our people are comatose so they're out there moab utah corporate but we know that that whole united states area is part of that moab so the ancient moabites modern moabites why the moors are and see so it says right Moab in colonial times was referred to as Morocco or the Rock of the Moors, the Rocks of the Moabs, the Rock of the Moors. Moab Indian country in imperial times was referred to as Maghrib al-Aqsa. See, or in the English language, far west Morocco, far western place. If you just tuned in, you're listening in to the Moorish National News Network, all right? with the magistrate Sufi L, I'm the anchor. And uh, this is a reboot of our 2012 CE uh, blog talk radio show with the chicest T Lightfoot Bay and myself uh, bringing you the best news around the galaxy from whatever's going on in Moorish America and Magda Balaxa, right Moors? So, uh, this is our Moorish Most Wanted segment, and we're just talking about the jurisdiction right now, but we're going to go into it, Moorish Most Wanted, because we know that they keep pretending our people are sovereign citizens. When we are sovereign, our nation is sovereign. If you don't believe so, you can ask our dear, holy prophet, Noble Drali, which he clearly stated in chapter 29, in the first line of chapter 29 which is the magistrate and subject chapter uh, that we have raised our leaders up to sovereign power with that sovereign authority of the nation, right? So we have to clarify these things because it's a part of slander. So all of those people from the sovereign 
the Southern Poverty Law Center, they're going to be on the Moorish, they're on the Moorish Most Wanted list. All right. Uh, and we will reveal others as TBA to be announced, to be announced, to be announced. So just know, A, hey, bingo, bango, pick it up. First person, person meaning artificial entity, first artificial entity, first agency that's on the Moorish Most Wanted list is the Southern Poverty Law Center. Pick it up, Moors Islam. Wow. I got to take a break. Wow, that is, that's amazing, Lord. Oh, praise Allah. Praise Allah. Give high honors to his holy and divine prophet. Yeah, that, that just, that just blew up the set with that. You know, uh, you know, that, that just did everything we needed it to do. You know what I'm saying? So just know Southern Poverty Law Center, they're up there first. Their names will be posted. Their names will be posted on the list along with uh, the other violators of the Moorish Americans, including but not limited to the sundry free Moors uh, and all of the so-called indigenous Moors that are on these shores. All right. And so with that, Mose, when you get these orders from myself, the National Grand Mufti from the Moorish National Republic, then yes, you will know that we will follow it up with a fatwa. And know that these fatwas are enforceable. And we want you to give them extreme prejudice. All right, Moors? Okay, we will issue warrants for those who are slandering, injuring, molesting. And let's just be honest, Moors. They are actually alien abducting all of us. They are alien abduction because I've never been a baby goat. So I can't be kidnapped. Right? So these Albion's foreign occupying colonials, they're going they're making it right on the Moorish most wanted list, Moors. And we're gonna throw all that we can into the arena of exposing them and bringing that light shining it right to their corner, Moors. So praise Allah. <laughs> Our honors to all of you, Moors. And um, and this is a great time right here. So just know, uh, take a look at that chart. Y'all really have to get abreast of that. Okay, let's cut all right. Let's cut let's cut it down. That was a great little break. Let's just cut it cut it right back. Because y'all have to get to that rest of that chart. So nobody explained before how these things worked in the language that established our jurisdiction. They make it funny that you say you're from Morocco. But if somebody is actually from old York, and people know that that's England, right? Nobody says that the person is fraudulent because somebody comes into the room and they're from New York. Right? They both just happen to have York in their name. If someone's from the country of Albion, and the corporately they refer to that as England, and they are from England, another person comes in the room, nobody says the person comes in, coming in the room is fraudulent because they say they're from New England. They're from Jersey or they come in the room, they're from New Jersey. People know that England is thousands of miles away from New England. Amsterdam in Europe, thousands of miles away from New Amsterdam, which became corporate New York. So Moors, we had to explain them. That's why we have these Ask the Mufti segments and we'll be 
uh, bringing them to you here more national news network. And we have to clarify these things so that you can use them in federal law. You can use them in international law because we've been sick of you swimming around and swirling around saying a lot of things when the prophet Nodra Ali has already stated what it is. And since you can't prove it because you're not linguists and you refuse to talk to the, the, the Moors who have enjoyed their status for the most of their lives, you're having a long learning curve and trial and error is very painful, all right? So we'll be reporting for the Moors pages and on what's going on, and uh, but just know that we both just happen to have Morocco in our name. Just so you know that, Morris, if you didn't know, know that now, and you can study it. When you talk to the Arabs from the North Africa, they don't say, their country's not called Morocco. They have Morocco in their country's name, that's all. It's called Kingdom of Morocco, and they're very proud of it. They don't say Maghreb. They say Mag Mamluk Maghreb. The Mamluk means the kingdom. So Mamluk Maghreb, but when we walk in the room, those same pale Arabs and the Albions that are colonial to Northwest and make some Northwest Africa here in, in, in America, they, when you say America, y'all call it that, but within that, you know, the indigenous people, uh, you know, we, we call the, the original people, this is our Morocco. And they're like, well, wow, they're just already in Morocco. We're like, oh no, they have Morocco in their name, Kingdom of Morocco, but we have Morocco in our name, Far West Morocco, Maghrib Al-Aqsa. Maghrib, meaning the place of the sunset, the place of the Western place. See, Maghrib, M-A, meaning the place of, and Grib meaning the West. So when you say Maghrib, you're saying Western point, the place of the sunset. Maghrib al-Aqsa, the extreme western point. So Maghrib, uh, so we both have that Maghrib, Morocco in there, that western point, because Maghrib is the western point of Africa, and the Maghrib here is the western point of the world. See, the North America is the Maghrib of the world. The United States of America is the Maghrib of the world. And then California would be the ultimate Maghrib, or even al-Aqsa, See, Al-Aqsa in Arabic, in English, Al Alaska, 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 Al-Aqsa is the furthest extreme Western point. Once you get out of Alaska, more is your back, what, into the Eastern world, in Asia again, in China corporate, in Russia corporate, right? So if you're tuning in, you this is our Moorish American jurisdictional chart. Tune in, more share it with far and wide, and we will bring you on and have you on as guest correspondents in the field. Uh, we will give you your more American press department press pass if you are qualified and have some training. And if not, we will give you the training if you are faithful Muslim and are taking part of the uplifting acts of this said government. Right. And so just know the Moabites, which we are. The United States of America land is corporately called United States of America. The original name is Moab. So Moab, Utah became that small point that represents the whole North America now, not the whole jurisdiction where the Mormons, the imitation of Moors, that's why they dominate and where Moab is at. And they stay there where Moab is at. And so that in medieval times or colonial times became known as Maghreb al-Aqsa, right? The far west Maghreb, the farther in Maghreb, Maghreb al-Aqsa, Maghreb, Alaska, right? And so that's far different from the kingdom of Morocco. And our dear holy apostle, Noble Drew Ali, radiallahu an, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, give, gave us our star and our flag before the kingdom of Morocco actually had their star on that flag. Praise Allah. So we're going to wrap up. 
Thanks for tuning in for our intro, Moorish National News. Islam, Islam, and Islamism. Tuned in the House of L. You're listening to the House of L by Astrolab Alliance. I honest the free man, the God, FMP Productions. And Pooh Astrology is on this one. Tune in. And come through on a first day of summer, June, so-called June 20th this year, Sunday, June 20th. Uh, we have first day of summer, the summer solstice jam. And uh, this year we're doing the focus on fathers since they got the corporate Father's Day going on. So come through. We got our building blocks event. And uh, it's right here at our Sovereignty Radio Takeover Station. So we are definitely going to enjoy that. Uh, Sovereignty Radio founder, co-founder, uh, Dr. Pina Tima Bay, Dr. Poetica. Praise Allah for her. And uh, so she and the Women's Auxiliary is coming through to, you know, really help run that event. And it will be run mainly uh, staffed or manned that day by the men, the men from the Morris International Mission here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, corporate jurisdiction, they'll be down here, Morris. All right, so we got a building blocks event, Father's Day event. Look, that's that's what that's really what it's hitting for right now is uh, Sovereignty Radio Takeover Station. This is where we do our Morris National News, actually. We do our Morris National News um, show right here at the Sovereignty uh, Radio Station um, headquarters, you know, and right here at the heart of West Medina, because, you know, Philadelphia is the Morris Medina. So we declaring that and we're going to ratify that soon enough. You know what I'm saying, Morris? So come through to that uh, event here Sunday coming up, Morris National. In Morse International Mission hosts the uh, first day of summer, summer solstice jam. Our building blocks are Fitty Deuce. Fitty Deuce. That's the name of the event. Fitty Deuce. And that's what it's all about. Uh, let's see if I can pull up that flyer. Fitty Deuce. Because y'all need to see what it's all about. And you can always hit us up. Inboxes or call us at area code 
612-356-2434. Once again, that's area code 612-356-2434. And uh, we, we're, we're, we're getting it going here. Praise Allah, give high honors to his holy and divine prophet, noble Drew Ali, Morris National News, signing off.